Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Mets going up against the Cincinnati Reds. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby. So the New York Mets have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Graham Ashcraft. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And he walked him. And the pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. The throw in. And the throws offline, safe at third. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate. The 1 0. And that one is lifted in the air. Allen gets under it. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Career, but a big lift for his teammates to have a guy like this in the lineup. That one hammered left field. That's back there. And that one is off the wall. Alcantara with a relay throw. Safe at the plate. It's 2-0. Well done. Drives in the run. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. That one laced to center and a base hit. Baden rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores. It's 3 zip. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working. We go to the bottom of the first. And starting this one. ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this. Oh, wow. What a stop. McNeil gets it to first. One up, one down. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop, gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the boys up for sure. Khalil Lee. And a base hit into right. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on. And the righty deals. Bounced out to short. Lindor collects it. Fires to first on the run. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put. Line of the pitch. On the ground. Oh, great stop. Gathers and throws. Pretty nice play there. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Reds go down quietly. Still down 3-0. That one is absolutely belted. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. 
A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two down. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. He keeps it down. It's just so tough. Watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. Now that third pick. Deal one. Swing, and that one's hammered. Deep drive, way back there. Boom, boom. His 11th of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 5-zip. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. And they make a change to start the sixth. Well struck left field. It bangs off the wall. Alcantara with a relay throw. Throw not nearly in time. He's safe. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Look out! And it hit at the belt and fires. Out of line, out towards center. Lays out and makes the play. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, stat cast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets. Pretty much a direct line to it, and perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know, but man. Great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Bases loaded with one away. Jeff McNeil, the next to hit. Flares it into the outfield. Base hit. One run is in. Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Bases still loaded and still only one away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Definitely a little bit fooled by a well-thrown change up there as he got it off the end of the bat, but still able to muscle it to the outfield. And in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And that ball is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout, and they cut into the deficit. It's 6-1. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there. Swung on, belted. That one's got a chance. And it's gone! That one barely got out of here. Third home run of the season, and they inch closer. It's 6-2. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plates for time. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, number 15. The 
pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one's got a chance. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Lindor pulls that one down. And there's two down. Out to center, Sierra under it. He puts it away and that'll do it. The Mets have won four in a row. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game.